Welcome to another edition of the Panel Breakdown. I'm your host, Matt Sardo. This is the Monkeys Fighting Robots YouTube channel. This week we are talking about Marvel Comics Star Number 1, written by Kelly Thompson. And there are two artists on this, Javier Pina and Felipe Andrea. I apologize if I butcher your names, um, and I apologize if I'm a, a little groggy. The post-holidays under the weather is, uh, we're hoping to get out of it uh, by next week, by the next episode. Uh, but first, um, real quick, uh, this is a new book by Marvel, Marvel Comics, a new series. Um, this new character has uh, been established, and uh, this is like a good jumping on point. Um, these are one of the things I like to feature. I like to feature uh, first issues uh, because I think it's very important to like hook the reader in a first issue uh, since you have so many different choices out there. And um, I think this book does that. Um, like this cover itself, we've seen this cover a million times. Um, you know, but this, this cover is still very inspirational. It's very Superman-esque and uh, Wonder Woman, and we've seen every hero uh, in this inspirational pose right here. And it's it's awesome, and I love I love the texture, I love the sketching. I'm a big fan of like actual, like being able to see the pencil work. I wanna see the pencil work. Like, it's a comic book, I wanna see this. Um, but if you take it a little step deeper, the city is upside down. So she's like in a spin. So since she is in the midst of I don't know if they're going to make a hero or what. You know, she's currently uh, on the bad guys list. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, the city is upside down. So that means her world's upside down. And, I mean, it's, it's a slight little thing, but um, I like it. You know, because you're looking at all the clouds and everything. You're like, wait a second, is that city upside down? Or is it right side up? Because there's, there's some green here, there's some green here. And I'm like, okay. And then you just flip it upside down. And you're like, oh, yeah. That's here's you know this just makes sense. Here's the city and everything else, and everything bends that way. So, but you can just like look at it real quick and like, oh, it's the city in the background. But they are adding a little bit more to it, and I really did appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, let's pick in this real quick. This page right here, I love it. I I love all the rain. I love the sketchiness of everything here, like I talked about. And then you get the whopper of like, oh my god. So it's the setup. And we just talked about it. I was just listening about some of the three panel setup. But it's like, here's the setup, conflict, resolution, right there. And one quick panel. And it's pretty awesome. And I just, like, this is a little cartoony in the artwork. and But it's comic books. So things are kind of like, you know, how everything is drawn out. It's just a little bit more of a comic book. And that's what I really enjoy. And then I flipped the page, and I was like, oh, it's a dream. And then you get back to this, to the artwork here. Um, Marvel did not label who did what, you know? So it's, I would love to give credit to who did what, um, but Marvel should just be like, hey, page one was this person, and the rest of the page was that. Uh, so I apologize for not attributing the artist, the artist correctly. But... Here we go in kind of more of the traditional Marvel Marvel look. Very photorealistic. Uh, the colors are kind of, you know, standard colors, not a lot of depth. I was talking about Star Wars previously, and there's like a lot of grit and depth into the colors. But these are kind of like, okay, here's the color of the person, here's some highlights, here's where the light's coming from. Not too much going on here. But I do like the action. The action here is pretty, pretty good. Um... And then none of the um, letters get in the way, and you kind of like use the lettering to follow yourself around. So it kind of goes this way, which I thought was good. This next page this is going to be my second panel breakdown, and I'm already critiquing this, critiquing things. I wouldn't say negatively, but this is a personal opinion. Um, you have this awesome page here, but they, when the editor or the writer or the artist. They didn't like come together and like think about how it look in a book. You know, like I looked at this and I was like, okay, which way am I reading? Because I would have, my brain wanted to go this way. 
in this way, in this way. And then you have your punchline, but it actually reads this way. And then you got to go back up to here and then read it this way. And I mean, we're kind of splitting hairs here in this one. I mean, it's still a good story. Everything goes on, but like, I feel like it would have been so much better if it went this way and across. And then you had your punch, because then you have your diagonal, you got everything fitting here, everything, the whole breakdown, and all the stuff going on the break, and, and behind, there's so many little details of what's going on. You got a horn guy here, you got a red guy here, mask guy here, like, you know, they're in the villain bar. It's pretty awesome. But this is where I would have been like, hey, as an editor, I would have been like, hey, I like what you have set up here, but like, let's just bring this to here and just flip them out and line them up. I think that would have been a better play. And I think it would have read better and it would have felt better as a comic book. But when you're reading digitally and you're just swiping up, you're like, whoop, 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 you don't get the splash page as much. So in a digital world, this reads fine. In an actual comic book, it's a little off. And then the last thing I want to talk about, besides this badass action right here, is, um, and I love all the old school villains. Like, these are the villains that I grew up with, um, you know, reading Thor in the in the 90, 80s and 90s and stuff. And this is like verbatim Superman. Like, you've seen this photo. It's not this. It's pretty crazy. Um, but you're like, oh, I can just swap out. This is like every hero with a cape that's been smashed through a wall. It's very token. But right here, this page right here, and I don't really want to spoil too much for you guys, but this page right here opens up to a commercial page and then a big splash page. If they took this commercial and moved it here, you would have had a delay from getting knocked in the head. And then you would have flipped into like, oh, that's who knocked me in the head. And then, oh. So again, the editor needs to step in and be like, okay, how are we lining these up? Or whoever, so you can get the best pacing out of it. So that's, I enjoyed this book. Um, I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 out of five monkeys. It's a decent intro, but there's like little things that could have taken it to like the next level of storytelling. And so these are the things I want to like talk about in the panel breakdown. So if you read this book this Wednesday, let me know what you think of it. Um, if you like the video, give us a like, um, subscribe to it. Um, I want to I want to kind of just break this down. I want to evolve my personal knowledge of art and comic books and just analyze things and see where we come from and not where we come from, but where the comics are going and just kind of just really enjoy this stuff. And I want to like read comics at the next level. And this is like my project for the year. And I don't want to see how many of these videos I can do and see what kind of feedback we get and then see what kind of knowledge I get moving forward. And I'm hoping that I enjoy my comic books more. Um, again, my name is Matt Sardo, Monkeys Fighting Robots. Um, new comic book Wednesday is coming up. I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know what you're reading. Take care, guys.